I'm going to be teaching you guys how to clear out your error 500 message whenever you get them. Although I already have um, a video titled how to clear your error 500 error message on YouTube. But for some reason, some people haven't gotten to fix that. So I'm going to take this time out to show you guys how to fix your internal server error 500 on YouTube. Okay, if you are actually having an error 500 message on your screen, just like I'm doing right now, this is actually what I mean. Whenever you get um, this error 500 message on your screen for from YouTube, when you're trying to access your channel, there are two basic things you do. One, try to come over to your um, web browser. Um, you'll probably open a new browser or just scroll to your settings area. Then move over to your history. Control H. Click on your history. Go ahead and click on this particular area right here clear your browser data go ahead and clear all the browser history now go ahead and select this particular option that says all time um depending on the version of um chrome you are running or um web browser you are running you might be getting a different option so you can see um varying from 24 hours seven days four weeks to um from beginning of time but right now this is the latest version this is what you're going to be getting all time just go ahead and click on all time go ahead and select this particular option to clear data and make sure you select this your browser's history keep it selected keep um this one also selected and keep your catches and image selected now go ahead and click on clear browser data okay now give it some minute to load up okay um once you're done go ahead and close your that particular tab now go on to open youtube.com actually i've opened youtube previously but um just because i cleared my data so it now makes it look new so go ahead and type youtube.com wait for it to load once it's up it will have to prompt you to sign in again as a fresh user actually collect all this data so that it's going to see it as a fresh user so when you notice you are going to get all these options so let me go ahead and sign in into my data okay um all i need to do now is to put in my um email address and then put in my password but just for some reason i'm going to go ahead and pause this video so that i'll be able to log in into my account i don't want to show you guys how i'm going about this anyway so 